this is it. This is the project that it all led up to. This is the National NC-173. Here you can see it. I have it on the table sideways, obviously. Um, there's a lot of work to be done in here. Let me show you what some of the capacitors look like after all these years. The radio actually works. Um, it needs to be recapped. All these capacitors are, are, are leaking out uh, wax. This, if you look up at the top here, and this, these look like the, the filter caps for the power supply. I, they're original, so far as I can tell. Um, original resistors. I see very very large resistor there. Um, we have some original. Uh, looks like uh, some domino capacitors. Various resistors of sorts. The radio is in good condition. Uh, some of these components, however, and most especially the, the capacitors are going to need to be looked at with the most attention, obviously pointed to the filter caps. And we're going to get in here and, and we're going to clean it up. We're going to test all the components, see if everything's in specification. And then finally, we'll filter, we'll uh, um, uh, calibrate the uh, IF and that's on top, it can't be seen. The IF cans, what you see here on the bottom is, this is what, what would appear to me is uh, setting the bands for the uh, for the display so, so it matches the numbers that are on the on the front to here. You know, got their own coils. So it's gonna be quite an effort just to, to go through. We see some, some original uh, lace work that was popular back then. There's no circuit boards, obviously. Um, Looks like it's in good condition. I see right here, immediately captures my eye. This looks like a, a dual capacitor, electrolytic capacitor can on top, inside. And that's probably going to have to be replaced as well. So I will uh, provide more information once I start getting into it.